water boy games out there the names taken heat and i have some great news for you guys but first of all but before i get to that i just want to point out this gameplay right here is a 78 and 24 where i use the scorpion evil and with my overkill class as you can see right now i'm using the remington 870 now this clip was now i got this clip well not this clip but i got this gameplay a while back so this is a little old but don't worry it's still pretty good in fact while i was playing this game in headquarters i in a way kind of pulled off this major major clutch and you guys will see it later on in the video but this is this commentary is not about the gameplay what it's about is the future of call of duty if a lot of you guys don't know um modern warfare 4 was rumored to be the next call of duty made by infinity ward everybody thought you know they were going to continue the they, everyone thought they were going to continue the series and so instead of call of duty goes everyone thought it was going to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or people just thought it was going to be Modern Warfare Ghost. Well, after it was leaked and now confirmed that that is not the case, the whole entire rumors of Modern Warfare 4 have just been thrown out the window. However, about a week or two ago, a post from a senior VFX member by, get this, Sledgehammer Games. That is right. The company that had actually made Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, that company is being rumored to be making the next Modern Warfare. How do we know this? Because as I said, the VFX senior member for, well actually my bad, the senior VFX artist from Sledgehammer Games had posted on a site that has been taken down so that also raises eyebrows on if this is act if like this is truly legit because companies don't normally take down leaks like this unless like it was actually fact so I want you guys you know just keep this in mind that this is most likely true this isn't just a rumor that could just that you know that most likely isn't true no this is a rumor that is true so i'm about to read you the post of what he said of what he says the dude's name is rob valdivia and i'll be putting the um, i'll be putting the post in the video right now so what he says is hello my name is robert valdivia and i am a senior vfx artist from los angeles but currently residing in the san francisco bay area i work at sledgehammer games where i'm responsible for developing photo real visual effects for the next Call of Duty Modern Warfare release. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. That is mind blowing. So many people must be going nuts right now. It's like, oh my gosh, we now know the next Call of Duty. And, you know, it's going to be made by Sledgehammer Games. But that's not the. Well, at least in my opinion, to me, that isn't what I am entirely hyped up. Why I'm entirely excited about. What I am excited about is that this could be changing the whole Call of Duty scene itself. Now, what do you mean, Second Heat? What, what does that mean? As a lot of you guys know, ever since Call of, ever since the entire Call of Duty series started, it has been you know, created by two companies, Infinity Ward and Treyarch. 
Now these two companies have been going back to back to back to back in producing all uh, the next Call of Duty. You know, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna start back at Card Four, or actually no, at Card Two, because Card Two was Infinity Ward, then Card Three was Treyarch, Modern Warfare, Card Four was Infinity Ward, then World at War, Treyarch, and yada yada yada. You get the pattern here, right? So, now with Sledgehammer being practically confirmed to be making the next Call of Duty, the one after Call of Duty Ghost, this has me thinking, you know, does this mean that Sledgehammer Games is now going to be a third member of the Call of Duty scene? Because if it does, then this could mean that instead of a two year you know a two year window of making the next call of duty for Treyarch and Infinity Ward this may now mean that that is being expanded to three years that's right three years for being able to make the next call of duty that is amazing why is that amazing because now because now we might just have the chance of seeing a lot of new features to call of duty as a lot of you guys have like always complained you know when modern warfare 3 came out a lot of you guys have been saying like oh man it's just like modern warfare 2 it's a modern warfare 2.5 you know there isn't a change and people are just said like with call of duty period like it's always the same it's basically like the same call of duty just with a new texture behind it no there hasn't been that many changes like the like the amazing changes is has been like slowly coming in you know there haven't been that much done to the Call of Duties, which is why everyone's always saying like, "Oh, Call of Duty's slowly dying because it's nothing that new." But with Sledgehammer Games coming in and the possible, the potential three-year cycle, this could possibly mean that we are now going to have an opportunity to add in you know more features into Call of Duty itself and what I mean by this to be honest I'm not entirely sure because I do not know what companies have in mind of making changes with because you know they could be doing they could be doing stuff like you know how Call of Duty goes now has this lean feature they're doing sliding and stuff now what if they could do a lot more than that like what if like one thing I've always wanted in a first-person shooter and this is what Brink had although Brink was in the game itself was a failure sadly what Brink had was parkour and free running that kind of stuff I've always wanted that in a Call of Duty what if you know for like couple years in the future with the now three year availability of making the next Call of Duty what if they can put that in now what if they have enough time to actually put in you know like parkour or what if they had the time to you know make the make the Oh my gosh, what is it? the graphics, what if they can make that look even better than it is now? What if, and this has been, you know, a big talk of why this hasn't happened yet, but what if now we can get a new, like an actual new engine to Call of Duty? Because as a lot of you guys know, or don't know, the reason why we, the reason why Call of Duty has always been just slight modifies of its old of its old engine, 
I kind of forgot what I kind of forgot what the engine we're using now, but whatever engine we're using now, it's been the same engine since COD 4, and the reason why that has been the fact is because they have said we do not have enough time to make a whole new engine for Call of Duty. Well, with the three year cycle now, what what if this is what they needed? Seriously, what if this move that they're doing now what if this is what I guess the companies actually needed? So who knows, maybe we might actually get a legit brand new engine for Call of Duty. This can mean so much this can mean so much for the Call of Duty series because now we can have a whole lot more features being added into Call of Duty that we've never even seen. You know, what if Call of Duty went to the Frostbite engine like how a lot of these games are now, like Battlefield or, um, oh my god, I was about to say Fire Cry, but Crisis, like those are, I believe Crisis, yeah. Those games are using their Frostbite engine and you know that game, that those games look amazing and I'm not and a lot of times it's like quality wise like quality wise it looks almost picture perfect reality and that's scary what if Call of Duty turns out to be like that like already with the next generation consoles coming out and they have shown how the feature how the characters features are gonna look like like with all of this like mind blowing stuff and I'm not talking about the AI the AIs with the fish, you know, how they can move on their own. You know, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about, you know like how they showed Riley the dog. When they compared Riley to what Modern Warfare three dogs look like, it's like holy crap, there's such a difference. This looks like such reality and that's another point I wanted to make. Is that this move with Sledgehammer games fully being put into the Call of Duty scene like this being added like on top of this we are now getting the next-gen consoles the PS4 and the Xbox one and let me know if you want me to talk about that you know I, I find that topic like very interesting since you know it's now since the console wars are being revived you know with the new potential that companies can get with the next gen consoles who knows what possibilities we can now be getting all of this because Activision is now putting sledgehammer games in full force with the Call of Duty scene and I am very, very happy for that. Because honestly, I liked what Sledgehammer did with Modern Warfare 3. <clears throat> for those of you guys that, cause I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but Sledgehammer Games, they made Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer while Infinity Ward made its campaign. Now, I know a lot of people were, were like complaining about Modern Warfare 3. I believe they're mainly, yeah, they were just complaining about its multiplayer. But you know, honestly, like to me at least, I liked what they did. And you know, what Sledgehammer did, you know, I'm not sure what their history is with games, but you know, this was like their, this was like their first game in the Call of Duty scene. So, you know, it's like any beginner their fir the first thing they do like their first product is it going to be you know excellent okay it's all about training in the fields you know you can learn you can learn as much as you can but well you could learn you could you know as much as you can 
when you're just you know not on the field just watching all this stuff being done you can know it all but it's how you actually perform and that was the test that Sledgehammer Games was put at they were put to the test to make a multiplayer game because Call of Duty is mainly known is famous for its multiplayer so do I believe that they could have done a better job they probably could but once again it was their first game it was their first multiplayer being made at least for Call of Duty this me this probably means that <clears throat> now that they've probably learned from mistakes and stuff their next game for the Modern Warfare for the Modern Warfare series it may just be or it probably will just be a whole lot better be a thousand times better now that they know what to do now that they know what the people want to see so I just wanted y'all to think about that because no, I don't want anybody, I don't want to see anybody just like bashing them right away like, oh no, they shouldn't, like, the next Call of Duty is going to suck, but nah. Like, just, just give them a chance, alright? Just give them a chance. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Went 78 and 24, and I hope you guys also like that five piece I hit with the Remington, you know, leave a like for that, because that was amazing. I wish I actually put that in my montage but oh and tomorrow I'm actually gonna be uploading the montage at 12 most likely I finished the, I finished the editing yesterday I was gonna I was thinking about posting it up today but I thought nah I want to have them wait so Friday Friday at around 12 ish which is why I plan on uploading it come to my channel to see my very first Call of Duty montage. I was very proud with the editing. Well, I don't know how I can see it that may sound cuz I'm the one who did the I'm the one who did the editing. I recorded the clips. I did it all myself. Cuz you know, I think it's pretty exciting when you know, you actually did all the work and you see the results. It's just like, damn. I did a good job. I'm proud of myself. So yeah, it's been that's been everything, and yeah, I think I pretty much covered every, I think I pretty much covered everything. So 